So today I want to talk about the Q173 gate math from synthesizers.com. Now, fair warning, this is a complicated module. I'm not an expert on it, and I'll probably get in the weeds a little bit. Hopefully not, and hopefully I'll show you a few things that you weren't aware of. Um, it's a very versatile and deep module. So let's take a look at the gate math. So the gate math is a gate divider, multiplier, and pattern generator. You have a selector switch up here where you select division amounts on this side, multiplying amounts right here, and then you have patterns, you have random, drum, so forth. Uh, the way that works is if you look at the first line, we have 0, 1, and 1 1.33. So we put that there, and if this is in two position, then it's going to divide by 1. If it's in the 1 position, it's going to divide by 0. If it's in the down position, 1.33. Put it in the two position, push that button. This is now dividing by one. That easy. If you spin this around over here, you can get into your multiplication ones. So you can multiply 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 4, 8. So the other thing is we have a configuration knob. And this configuration knob has six zones. And here's what's amazing. So we're in zone zero, right? And we just uh, set up some outputs. Now I can go to one and I can record four totally different setups. I can go to two, four totally different setups. So for live playing, you could have changes in your uh, pattern by uh, stacking six different patterns onto this knob here. And you can control that with a CV. So you could actually, from your keyboard or from a sequencer, you could have your patterns change automatically. You also have an in, so if you don't have a CV in here, then this just acts as a clock on playback. If I plug a clock into here, it overrides this, and the clock sets up the speed of the outputs. All the divisions and multiplications are from the external clock that's coming in. And then you can uh, change the zones on the fly. You have a through, which takes the clock and just passes it on through. And then you have a reset, which starts it from zero. So why do we need to divide gates or multiply gates? Gates are what turns on our voices, typically, using envelope generators. But you can also use it just to have multiple clock speeds in your system. You may have two sequencers. You want one running at normal speed, and you want one to run half speed or even slower. Or you might want it to run faster. So here's some of the built-in drum patterns. Hi-hat, snare, kick, tom. So here's an example of random. I have all four outputs set to random. Sometimes they'll hit at the same time. If you don't want them to, you can make it exclusive where only one output will play at a time. So you hold this for two seconds. I'm driving that with an external clock, we'll speed it up. So here's some examples of patterns.
Here's an example of a, a song I put together recently showing the three different speeds. Okay, so that was the gate bath. Very, very interesting module. Man, appreciate you guys coming around and checking out these videos. If you're getting anything out of them, be sure and share it with your friends. Hit the like button, subscribe, those good things. It helps us out and we appreciate it so much. So we'll see you next time.